Hi, my name is Nathan Urban. I'm a horticulturist at the Missouri Botanical Garden. We're in my home garden today and I'll be talking to you about spring ephemerals. So spring ephemerals are plants that come up in the spring and they go dormant by late spring, early summer when it starts to get hot and dry out. They're very similar to spring blooming bulbs, but their root systems are very similar to uh, true perennial plants. So I'll take you on a little tour and I'll show you some of my favorites that are blooming and looking spectacular in my garden right now. So this is the first set of spring ephemerals I'm going to cover. The one in the front with the yellow flowers is Celandine poppy, Styloform diphyllum, and the one behind it with the blue flowers is Ber Mertensia virginica or Virginia bluebells. Uh, the Celandine poppy comes up pretty early, um, blooms, does its thing, and usually the foliage lasts until um, I don't know, late spring, early summer. The Virginia bluebells comes up flowers and does its thing and goes dormant pretty quick. Um, they're both prolific self-seeders, so you'll find plenty of like, little babies kind of growing in amongst them, um, little seedlings. And those are easily remedied by hoeing them or digging them up, moving them to other parts of your yard, or giving them to friends, uh, neighbors. Um, both really nice plants to pair with uh, pink flowers, white flowers, white daffodils. It works really nice. Uh, or, or just them with each other, as you see here. So this is another one of my favorite spring ephemerals. This is large flowered bellwort, Uvularia grandiflora. This one gets to be a little taller than most, at around one to one and a half feet tall and wide. And the foliage also lasts a little bit longer in the growing season than most. Mine and my garden usually lasts until about late May into June, and then it goes dormant. Um, Another neat thing about it is that I like how the stem kind of is encircled by the leaves here. It sort of looks like a uh, needle and thread, sort of like how it's being pulled through the leaves. Just another neat little fact about it. Uh, moist, well drained soils does best. Filtered sunlight looks really great with blue flowered plants, like I have it here with Virginia bluebells. Nice clump forming plant, so um, again, another great plant that's underutilized, kind of unknown. Go ahead and, and plant it in your home garden. Okay, the next plant I'm going to talk about here is one called Dutchman's Breeches or Dicentra cucularia. This is another native shade, spring ephemeral, comes up really early and goes dormant pretty quick in the season white flowers, and as you can see, the little white flowers kind of look like men's pants or breeches, and that's where it gets its common name from. Kind of bluish green, finely dissected foliage, um, likes woodsy, kind of organic, well-drained, moist soils to do its best. It will kind of form a small colony with time. Um, I like to plant my um, spring ephemerals in amongst other emerging late perennials like hostas and different types of sedges so that once they go dormant there's not like a big gap left over. Um, again, just a nice native woodland plant that you can add to your shade gardens. So this is the next plant I'm going to talk about. This is a trillium or large flower trillium, trillium grandiflorum. Flowers start out white, and then as the flowers age, they'll eventually turn kind of a rose pink color, which is really pretty. Uh, it doesn't get super tall, 6-8 inches, maybe taller. Um, doesn't grow super fast. It will seed it around sporadically, but not, not a great deal like, say, the Virginia bluebells or the Celandine poppies. Um, it's native to the U.S., like I said. Um, likes moist, kind of uh, organic-laden soils. Um, I kind of have this growing out of a stump in my stump right here at home. I just thought it was kind of cute, plant, planted inside the little nook. But anyway, nice plant. Put in there with some things that maybe bloom later or come up later. So just kind of kind of cover that little hole that would be created when it's done blooming or when it goes dormant. So this is the next plant I'm going to talk about. This is bloodroot otherwise known as Sanguinaria canadensis. Uh, this is another nice native spring ephemeral. It's probably the first one to come up for me in my yard in the spring. Comes up and has like tiny little white flowers, are probably about an inch or two wide. 
and they're very fleeting. They only last a few days. Um, but then that's replaced with the foliage, which I think is really attractive. It has kind of those lobes and kind of finger-like projections on it, and it lasts pretty well um, into the early part of summer until it gets hot and dry, and then it'll go dormant like the rest. Um, it gets its common name from the fact that if you were to slice into one of the roots, they have kind of this red, kind of bloody sap to it. I think um, back American Indians used to use that as dye. Again, it's probably one of my favorite little spring ephemerals. It actually seats around pretty well because as you can see, I have a bunch of like little babies coming up here. Probably will dig those up and pop those up and move those into other areas of my yard to make other little bloodroot colonies. So, um, great plant. Go ahead and try it in your own garden. This is gold heart bleeding heart. Obviously you can see it's different from the straight species in that it has gold foliage and pink flowers. The straight species has green and there's also um, a white flowered and a red flowered selection out there that you can look for. I like this one for the reason that you can use it and brighten up a, a shady spot um, with a bright pop of color of the f from the foliage. Um, I think it's sort of easy to go overboard with gold foliage plants, so just go easy on those. Just use one selectively here and there just to kind of help carry your eye around your garden. Um, this plant needs a little bit more shade than the straight species. The foliage can scorch a little bit going into summer when it gets hot out. It doesn't grow quite as big as the straight species. It's probably um, maybe two-thirds as big. A nice plant again for just adding this really bright pop of color. It looks nice against dark backgrounds. Blue flowers look good with it. And this is another native spring ephemeral. This is dwarf larkspur, Delphinium tricorni. As you can see, it's got these kind of purple blue flowers on it. Uh, the foliage is kind of finely dissected and kind of uh, finer textured. This plant gets to be about 10, 12 inches tall, or maybe not quite as wide, maybe um, 8 to 10 inches. Um, it's a nice plant. It grows kind of at the woodland edge in the wild, kind of in moist, kind of rocky, well-drained soils. So the same kind of applies in your home garden. Um, it's just a nice kind of underutilized plant. Uh, grows um, really well in companion with like hostas or sedges that sort of will kind of carry the that space once this plant goes dormant, kind of in um, early part of summer, late spring. So go out and find it and put it in your home garden. Well that's it for today. To find the plants I talked about in today's video, check out your local garden center or native plant nursery as they'll be stocked up and ready for spring planting. To learn more about spring ephemerals, check out the Kemper Center for Home Gardening's website to help you on your latest gardening adventures. Happy gardening!